Hi everyone, it's Agnes and I've got a viewer's question today from India. Now India says, thank you so much for your videos. They have been truly helping me learn to love myself more and better. I've actually attracted my specific person back about a couple of days ago and it's a bit weird. So I wanted to know if you have a video suggestion or any suggestions on how to go about this situation now. He came over the first night, we connected and it was good. He spoke like he still felt the same and like he knew I did, but I didn't say anything. We talked and laughed and he kissed me, which was amazing because he typically has so much control, but he said he couldn't help himself. He called me right after he left, but since then he seems offish. Like the first night before he came over, we were flirty texting and he was giddy. And when he came over, he was in a great mood. He did ask me, was I going to go crazy on him again? LOL. I know he is a reflection of me because I was a bit nervous and unsure on how to be. I have been ramping up my self-love again and trying to refocus on me. I was looking forward to us reconnecting and I knew this was going to be an area that I was going to have to work on once we started talking. I felt like it's on the job training, LOL. So I am excited about growing through this as well and seeing me and my SP in a stronger, closer, committed relationship than before. So I am wondering what should I be doing now as far as meditations and improving our relationship? I feel like he's testing me already. Should I just focus on self-love meditations or what? How does it work if I want to improve this? <clears throat> So, <laughs> India, thank you for your question. Now, when someone starts to reappear, it's about keeping your focus and maintaining what you're doing, okay? Because so often people launch back into, oh, I've got what I want now, and then they go back after the person, they drop their routine, they drop what they've been doing, and then their specific person starts to move away again. Okay, so you're saying, I'm wondering what I should be doing now. You continue. You do your self love meditation every day. You do your affirmations every day for you. You do some for the relationship. Still 75 25, I think. 25 for the relationship, 75% for you. Okay, and it is like an on the job training. I agree, because you're learning to be comfortable, secure within the relationship. So, also, I would do some kind of scripting. You can write it how you want it to be with them. I'm happy and grateful now that. Use your person's name and I. We're now getting closer and closer. We have a better relationship than last time. I'm able to maintain my own self. I bring that to the relationship. I give to the relationship. Therefore, he receives and I receive as well. This is a mutual benefit relationship. Okay, I love how we go out for coffee, go to the movies, lay in bed together. I feel the love from them and they feel the love from me. They are my soft place to fall and I'm their soft place to fall. We are equal, loving, and we are both committed to taking care of ourselves so that we have a loving relationship. So that's an example of a script. So it's continuing on. It doesn't change what you do when you're trying to manifest a specific person or when you get a specific person, you maintain your own self. Now, obviously when you have a specific person and they've come back or you've attracted a new relationship, it is about then juggling the time because you have more time when you're single to do all this stuff than when you have a relationship. So it changes the playing field. You have to make time. You have to be consistent. You have to make it a priority and you don't cut back on time by yourself to be with them. You say, hey, I'll see you later on this afternoon. I've got to go to the gym. I need to go to work and I'll see you later. And you take care of you, okay? People that have their own lives and have their own loves and have their own things that make them feel good and sustain that are attractive. So you want to keep your attractiveness, okay? What you do for you becomes what makes you attractive within the relationship. All right, India. So you sent me this back in 20th of, 22nd of Feb. So about two months ago. So 
hopefully this is still relevant to where you are thank you very much for your question i will put the viewers questions playlist down below for those of you that would like to hear what some of the other viewers have asked as a lot of it is relationship and specific person related and that's it for today <laughs>